Okay. Yeah, it is. You know what it smells like? Like if you open up a box of plastic of something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, welcome back to Flat Cap Whiskey. Today, we're doing an alcoholic stream, a budget buster, VAT 69 Gold. VAT 69, I believe there's 69 different blended scotches in here. 69 It's scotches. golden light. Looks dark, but it's really not. It's really not. It must be the plastic. Well, it's you take 40% what... ABV. It's a blend of 100% scotch whiskeys. Aged? 36 months. Wow. Three years. So this, I was hoping, I got the wrong VAT69. VAT you was, didn't get the World War II version. I wanted the, the supposedly VAT69 is, I'm going to be corrected about this if my coworker sees this because he's the one that's told me about it. 69 was like the scotch of. Let's go, Brandon. Hurry up. The scotch of uh, World War II. Scotch of World War II. But look how big that bad boy is. Couple of things. Here's what I really love about this. Screw top, right? Handle, built in. I mean, honestly, nothing screams alcohol. <laughs> More than this. And it's 20 bucks. Yeah, like 20, 20 30 bucks. I can't remember. Fully. And it has zero information about <laughs> flavor profile. I think if you go to the, if you go to the liquor store looking for a Bottom scotch, of the shelf. This might be as bad as Black Velvet. Black Velvet, the Canadian whiskey. I don't know. I, I saw it today in Rome for uh, five dollars in, in the Scotch section. That is a that's the Canadian whiskey, though. Is it really? Yeah. We'll have to look. But uh, yeah, that's sixty nine gold, golden light. I think this might beat the West. One. Blended by Sanderson Son. LTD, Scotland. So my first impression of this is when you opened up, took off the cap, yeah, you, it smelled like... Maple syrup. Maple syrup. It's got a... Out of the, out of the barrel? Yeah. Bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I think this would be great in a barrel. Well, we'll have to buy a barrel and figure it out and pour it all in there. But it smells like maple syrup. It smells like maple syrup. But in the glass, it smells like old plastic. Like you've opened up... Like if you got a box of pickup sticks... And you pop the top off the tube with pickup sticks and smell the inside of the box. That's what it smells like. Old plastic. Like All I smell is alcohol. I don't smell any alcohol. Old plastic, that's what I smell. So this reminds me of being a kid. Like uh, if you even open up a box of um, It's got a bit of a sweetness a to it. Oil. That's probably from the grains. Like the grain. I, don't, I mean, is really, I wonder if it's really even green in here. We just took alcohol through. This dark, this will be the shortest video because it's bottom. It's flat cap whiskey's bottom mm. of the shelf. It tastes pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like plastic, but with a sweetness to it. <laughs> it's better than JWR. <laughs> I was about to spit that out because I thought that was funny. What, my comedy? Ooh. Say it's some water. Peppery. Yeah, it's peppery, probably because. They didn't seal the container soon enough. Let's see what a little water does. I need to, I need to cleanse it's, my nose. You know, for for a whiskey, this would be great with a mixed drink. For a whiskey without any expectation, I don't think it's that bad on the palate. When I first cracked this open, I didn't mind it at all. I thought it smelled. I thought it smelled like maple syrup poured all over my spaghetti. But then it tasted like. Ugh. The nose doesn't change with water. Still smells like plastic. Uh, it, it, it tastes metallic-y. It smells metallic -y, I should say. With a bit of sweetness. The flavor profile doesn't change either. I think it's a little bit of a pear in there. That's a joke. That's a, that's a lie. They Caramel, vanilla, prickly pear. 
There's definitely no. No, prickly. there's definitely no prickly pear in here. This is definitely. This is, I think. It smells like walking down to the pool. I think this is what Nancy Pelosi drinks before she goes out on a podium. I think this is what melts the glue of her dentures, which is the reason why she's always <laughs> trying to suck her teeth back in. So, Nancy, thanks for sharing. I think we should have you on, and you can help us do a review of oh, tell me that, what that smells like. 69. Wow, that's got no color. That's zero color. <laughs> this is water. Look at that. Well, anything. Through plastic? No, it, 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 was, it looks darker than it actually is. It's like the mirror on the right side of your car? Yeah. Why do I need to smell yours? Because I think mine's point. always different. Yours has no, nothing. Well, is it worth 20 bucks? <laughs> okay, so it's not really stupid. But I think I got like a melon. Like so, a fresh watermelon. When you drink it fast. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta shoot it? Is it worth the 20 bucks? Well, your price to value, your price to quantity value is pretty good, I think. That's probably what I drink. Does anyone want this? I don't. <laughs> I'd probably dump it down the sink. No, we do that. I think we should compare every, <laughs> everything to. I think maybe we should have a night where we'd make Manhattans or something. <sighs> Old fashioned Manhattans and use that 69, see how it works out. That's they got the like, wrong number on there. It should not be 69. Well, it's really 69 different whiskeys. Okay, but... Or because they used to go in vats. And went in a vat. Beavis and Butthead would say this is not a good 69. You wouldn't know because we no one was allowed to watch it. <laughs> True. Uh, we have to cross. Uh, somebody says 69. I would... So... Scale of Damn, buddy. one to ten, my mark. I'm gonna give this. Oof, I'm gonna give eight. this a nine and a half. <laughs> Not. No, this is this is pretty bad. I okay. think it's a sixty-nine. Yeah, okay. I'll go six point nine. It's not to the quality of Isla Mist. Isla Mist is really good for twenty-eight bucks. But this is two bottles. This is actually two <laughs> bottles worth of scotch. It's one twenty seven five liters. Right, it's like two it's that's like two bottles of two seven fifty milliliters. Disgusting. Don't get it. Just walk you see I just walk by it. Walk by it. It's ten dollars a bottle, really. It's disgusting. I just, you know, we reviewed it so right. we don't have to. You know to. what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna find a hobo on the street who wants some to work for food. I'll just, I'll just put this in a paper bag and hand it to him. It's <laughs> terrible. I think it goes to go down the toilet. Hmm? To go down the toilet. No. All right. It's That's a good it. Decoration. That's what we got on this one. Listen, smash the subscribe button. No, is it smash the subscribe button? It's smash the like button. Smash the like button. Thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Be Hit sure that notification. As, as Scotty Kilmer from the car channel and it says remember to ring that bell ding also we're on odyssey we're on bitch shoot we're on rumble we're on he's on tiktok oh you have a tiktok he doesn't oh, allow I, me i to forgot make a about the tiktok thing. i need uh, we need to we're have, also on instagram we need to bring other topics into discussion with this scotch i am a pro and hopefully in favor of talking a little bit of current events keep our audience Entertained with political commentary. I think we do. We, we memes. Yeah, we do. We we literally gave the Nancy Pelosi thing. No, but I mean, talk a little bit more. Not about Nancy Pelosi's physical and emotional shortcomings, but uh, about her mind being just completely politically wrong. I think. But if you want to buy stocks, make sure you're following what she's grabbing because she's making big deals. Making big deals. Also, make sure to buy uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. It went up like sixty five percent. Bed Bath and Beyond, sixty-five percent. They closed a lot of stores. Yeah, I got, I got a story about that one. Will they open up in China? Later. Mm -hmm.